I want to prove to you that the Bible is inspired by God and could only be written by God using human authors. Here's a book, I don't know where I got it or when, but it's one of my most interesting books. Uh, I don't know if you know what polarized light is. Normal light bounces at us from all kinds of directions. It's reflected at us. So normal light, the lines of light are going all ways. Polarized light goes in straight lines. If you've got sunglasses with polarized lens, it only lets straight light through and all that bounced light is cut off. Now, if you get two polarized sunglasses and turn them at right angles so that one is that way and the other is that way, you get crossed polarized light, a very pure light. Are you still with me? Now, let's take all the precious stones you ladies wear in your rings and in your ears. I've got a bit of a shock for some of you. If you take a very thin slice of precious stones, jewels, and look at it through cross-polarized light, two sunglass lenses at right angles, one of two things will happen. Either that stone will go all the colors of the rainbow, but in its own unique pattern, or it'll go black and have no color at all. Now, would you like to know which is which? Some of you ladies will be very cross with your husbands afterwards. Well, all the stones are beautiful here. But, for example, diamonds go black in pure light. Rubies go black in pure light. Garnets go black in pure light. But other stones go all the colors of the rainbow. Now, I've got here a book by a scientist with many of the stones that go all the colors of the rainbow. I'm sure that most of you can see, and you can come and look up closely afterwards. All the colors of the rainbow, but different patterns. These are the stones that lose all their color and just go black. Now, in the New Jerusalem, the only precious stones that God uses are the stones that go all the colors of the rainbow in pure light. And none of those are used. There is no way that the Apostle John could have known that when he wrote the book of Revelation. Because it's only in the last 20 or 30 years that we've found polarized light and been able to discover this. How then could John the Apostle possibly have known? There's a speck of dust seven thousandths of an inch across of one of the stones that is used in the New Jerusalem. Look at the color. Can you imagine what the New Jerusalem will look like? There's a, another point of interest, the shape of the stones. Now, the crystal shape of precious stones is different. These are all the stones that are used in the New Jerusalem, and they're all angular and easily fitted together in a building. Whereas the crystalline form of many other stones is more like a round marble and very difficult to build with. And God has used none of those in the New Jerusalem, only these. How could John possibly have known this? Only God knew it. And again, I brought that in to show you that we're not talking about fairy tales now. We're talking about something quite real. And to me, that's just proof that the Bible is inspired by God's Holy Spirit because nobody but God until the last 20 years could have known that. 